Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, how are you all doing? I am doing good. Uh, got the day off and uh, I drove to uh, Norwich earlier this morning with, um, with my daughter. They have a uh, Dutch deli in that town and uh, we always go there to get our bread because I can't get used to the Canadian bread for some reason it's sweet and I don't like that so every two weeks we go there and get a shitload excuse me of bread put it in the freezer and I'm good for two weeks so got some black licorice got some good sauce mixes yum yum we're all set all good I came home and uh, finished my journal 52 card um, for this week week 12 already before we left uh, I put the paint on and set the stamp and printed out the text so all I had to do was finish it and uh, this is what I did the prompt for this week is balance and uh, I made my paint mod again I just love to use that for a background um, I have this stamp of this lady and I love it. I used some washi that I ha got at Pitchy Cheap a while ago and then I found this quote on the web and I just love it. It gives kind of a twist to the word balance but it says some days you eat salads and go to the gym some days you eat cupcakes and refuse to put on pants it's called balance well right i don't go to the gym salads okay don't eat them that much cupcakes i don't eat either but i like it so that's the page that i did for week 12 and then i uh, i made a coffee themed pocket letter um, I used uh, the Doodle Bug uh, cream and sugar line and uh, I love it well you right now you know that I love all things Doodle Bug the colors are so bright and it just makes me happy working with this paper um, this one is for a swap I'm not gonna say who it's for uh, I'm probably gonna make another one because I've got a hat another pocket letter to make in an open theme so I'll probably use this paper again and uh, here we go put the camera down top layer the first pocket I used the die that I got in uh, my Simon Says Stamp card kit from uh, February and uh, it actually only cuts out the cup and I did that in white uh, then it has arms and a heart here um, I did not use those all I did was glue a paper uh, strip in pink behind the eyes and the mouth and then I used a paper bag to uh, glue on this part and on the lid so that it really looks like a latte or coffee cup on the go and I used my hello dye that I got from uh, I am Mama's Mama to Force uh, shop uh, if I can find the link I think it's on Zibit I'm not sure then I'll put it uh, in the description box and I used some washi on here that has the coffee cups on it too and then on the stamp set that came with this card kit at this stamp with enough coffee everything is possible this came with the die cuts that I got too and then I uh, I found a uh, tutorial here on YouTube and I totally forgot who it was who made the video but I'll look it up and I'll link that below um, she uh, she did something like this had her uh, a white piece of paper and a small banner here on the side 
Ravio Latte and these kind of pop-up stickers came with, uh, oh no, I ordered those myself. And I put some bling bling here. In the middle uh, row, I did a shaker pocket and I used two cutouts and a donut washi. And in the bottom row, um, I uh, did another piece of paper with uh, the stamp. I only need two things, you and coffee. These are all separate stamps, so you can put them as close as you want. And this is a little pop-up sticker too with some more bling. And this sentiment here, coffee and friends make the perfect blend. Added some hearts on the top with bling in it. And here I used a die cut again and I made the lid green. And then of course I made a banner. Coffee. I used my Sizzlitz uh, alphabet for that in my sidekick. And uh, I made this paper clip again with my envelope punch that I had. And uh, this is paper from the same line. Ta da! And all I actually have to do here is a little envelope uh, with doodlebug paper that I found in my stash. I knew I had more doodlebug paper from the time I uh, did scrapbooking. Gosh, camera, stay put, don't fall down. God, I'm sorry, guys. Here we go. It won't sit. That is not nice. There we are. Good. Um, so I went through my closet and I found this pizza box. And I had all kinds of papers in there. And I just went through it to find my doodle bug. And I made a nice stack of all the doodle bug that I have and I just set that aside because look isn't that an enormous stack of paper love these polka dots and these are polka dots too and here oh there the gamma goes again sorry this one has all these cute little flowers on it and you can see that I already used that for an envelope and punched out some circles and here. All kinds of colors. You can tell that I like the brights and I like lavender and purple and there's purple in here. Stripes and plaid and polka dots and there's black in there, orange, more purple darker purple and it's all doodlebug paper so here Christmas kind of uh, paper kind of pretty yeah Christmassy thought I had more no well anyways I uh, I can use this to make embellishments or even you make pocket letters out of it because most of the colors are uh, are matching each other, so that's really nice. And I even found a lot more paper. And I'm so happy I never throw anything out. So, um, that was what I wanted to show you. Um, I got one more thing. I am actually thinking about hosting my own very first YouTube swap. A pocket letter swap. Uh, I have to think things out and make an example so I'm not sure when it's going to be but I would love to know if you were, would be interested in that. Uh, come on, I lost it. Um, what I would be doing, I would 
want to swap with at least two of you, one in Canada and one in the US. I am really sorry, but I do not ship worldwide because um, Canada Post has ridiculous hardly high prices and right now I just can't afford that. So um, if you would like, like to do that, like to participate in a YouTube pocket letter swap, just let me know in the comments and then um, if I have enough people that are uh, interested, I uh, will come back to, uh, to you with more details and everything. So that was it. You all have a great day and uh, see you next time. Bye.